You can hit the lottery. You can hit the genetic lottery. Or you can completely fail at life. Marcia Gay Harden is a Hollywood B-list actress, which is still statistically more successful than most people. She was in Law and Order SVU, and I think I remember her from that horror film, The Mist. Going out now, Mrs. Carmody. Please stand aside. You can't go out. I won't allow it. Won't allow it? It's against God's will. Don't you know that by now? Haven't I proven myself again and again and again? Haven't I shown that I am his vessel? She was in the news recently because she was on a Drag Isn't Dangerous telethon, which helped to raise money to fight against the recent anti-LGBTQ legislation. During this telethon fundraiser, she announced that all of her three kids were queer. My eldest child is non-binary, my son is gay, and my youngest is fluid. Marcia Gay Harden is 63 years old, and her children are old enough to make their own life choices. Now, I completely disagree with their choices, but I'm okay with it. Here's what radical news reporters don't understand, or purposefully misrepresent. Most people don't care what adults choose to do. If all three of her children are queer, no one cares. That's fine. It's a statistical anomaly to have 100% of your children be queer. But once again, I'm totally fine with it. The only thing I'm a little curious about is what did she look like at the moment when she realized that her entire genetic line just ended? Parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, all the way back through history, all of her elders that went through plagues, wars, all the atrocities of the human life. All of her ancestors survived and passed on their genetic code. <laughs> but all that just ended. Her entire family line just stopped because none of her children will be breathing and continue the family tradition. Once again, I got to tell you, I support this. It's better that they make this choice and they do what makes them feel empowered. I can't tell if it's a leftist thing, a modern thing, or a Hollywood thing. But I can tell you that we won't need to worry about it for the next generation. These people simply won't be around. Now, genocide is a term that might be correct. But uh, what if we need to create a new word that describes self-genocide. Any suggestions?